Portland has never been like the initial hub, but a tremendous amount of high quality companies have come out of Portland. I think that's exactly what's gonna happen in VR. Portland in three words, creative, collaborative, and definitely quirky. Portland is wet. Portland is at times gray. And honestly, in some ways, that fuels our creativity. I've lived a bunch of different places in my life and I've never been somewhere where community felt as important as it does here. Portland is kind of a perfect storm for VR. You have a creative community that's collaborative and passionate about the technology. We host a drink and draw about once a year and we invite a bunch of local game makers to come and bring their games to showcase for the community. We've had more and more people working in VR over the past couple of years. Feels like it's kind of exploding. It's a new medium and we need to be banding our ideas together and creating these micro communities to help support the best ideas. What I'm seeing right now, I describe as a VR gold rush. It's sparking the imagination of people all over the country and they're coming by train and by horseback and by any means necessary to get here to see if they can claim their piece of VR. The Portland VR meetup brings together a little over 200 people. The goal is to bring the community together on a regular basis to really foster this sense of collaboration that I believe is necessary to be successful as an industry. It feels like the people who are in Portland really want to stay here. We're really uniquely positioned between Seattle and San Francisco. And so a lot of those people tend to flock to Portland. Where else does that happen? You know, where does that, that kind of quirky creativity happen? There's this perception, especially in startup culture, that you want to like protect your ideas. But the reality is, especially with virtual reality, there's so much possibility that not one idea is really going to reign supreme. There has to be this huge momentum. I think the best way for us to get there is to empower a wide diversity of creators and to let those creators go and build the things that they imagine to be the right answer. Because one of them is going to be, and one of them is going to really set the stage and really spark the imagination of a new generation.